Hello and welcome back. Let's continue our discussion and we are delighted to share that we are able to share with you some remarks from Representative Mark Vizi, who is on his way to DC, but his team was miraculously able to uh, share, produce us and share with us a, a brief video remark. So we'll play that. Uh, but let me begin by saying it's really uh, a great honor that we are able to hear from the representative. Uh, the events of past week have been particularly very challenging and significant for our nation's capital. So it is an honor that uh, the representative has been able to carve some time out and share his thoughts and how this all uh, fits into the future of energy in, in Texas. Representative VZ represents the 33rd district of Texas in the Dallas-Fort Worth metro area and currently serves on the House Energy and Commerce Committee. Previously, Congressman VZ served on the House Armed Services Committee and Committee on Science, Space and Technology. During the last session of the Congress, Congressman introduced HR 2088 to reauthorize and increase funding for the Energy Efficiency and Conservation Block Grant Program. He also co-authored the Bipartisan Fossil Energy Research and Development Act of 2019. Again, thank you so much, Congressman, for making the time and thank you to your team for really uh, helping us get these remarks out to the audience. So with that, uh, if we can get the video remarks on. Hi, this is Mark Vesey, Congressman for Texas's 33rd Congressional District here in North Texas, and excited to be able to talk with you today uh, about hydrogen. Uh, recently, I had the opportunity to visit the Toyota headquarters in Plano and drive one of their hydrogen-powered vehicles. Uh, it was an amazing experience, uh, and this is really just the beginning of some of the breakthroughs that hydrogen uh, is going to present uh, for us in the workspace uh, and for all of us for personal use. Uh, you were already seeing hydrogen being used in factories to power uh, heavy and light uh, duty vehicles. Uh, and again, uh, when it comes to decarbonization, this is going to play a very important role uh, in us being able to uh, get to the point to where uh, we are lowering our carbon footprint, uh, but more importantly, also making sure that we have the security uh, that we need, the energy security that we need moving forward. Uh, and uh, that we're able to uh, create uh, new jobs from these breakthroughs. Uh, I'm excited about uh, today's uh, uh, discussion that you're going to have. I wish that I could be there with you in person or even live on Zoom, but because of votes in Washington, D.C., I was not able to join you in that capacity. Uh, but I hope that today's event at University of Texas goes well. Hook them horns uh, and hope to uh, see you uh, soon uh, in person so we can continue this amazing discussion and just appreciate everything that the university is doing uh, to advance uh, talks on uh, energy and energy security in our country. Thank you. Thank you so much, Representative VC. Again, we are, we are very honored and delighted that you're able to share your thoughts with, with us. We will be sure to uh, send you a summary of our proceedings and continue the discussion and our interactions.